this video, I'm going to be showcasing some crazy memento combos that you guys need to know, especially headed into the brand new release of Infinite Forbidden. Now, before we start the video, guys, go ahead and leave a like on the video, subscribe if you have not already, hit the notification bell so you get updated every single time I upload, and of course, check out all the links down below, guys. I'm super active on my Twitter. I'm trying to get a Discord lit, so help me out, guys. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, before we start the combo, of course guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe, things of that nature. Check out all the socials down below, but we will start off with the Memento card. So again, starting off, it is going to be a one card combo and majority of these combos are for sure one card combos. So you guys will see here, we start off with the Memento Dark Blade. This has the effect where um, once per turn, you can destroy one Memento monster. And if you do, there's someone a level three or lower Memento monster from your deck. The other effect is like not really relevant when you go first. When you go second, discard and pop, right? It's pretty good. Um, but moving on, we will use Dark Blade. This is, it's kind of like a Lone Fire Blossom. Instead of the cards tributing, they just destroy each other, right? Just think of it like that. So Dark Blade will go ahead and pop himself to summon out probably one of the other best cards in the deck, which is Memento Anguish. If it's normal summon or special summon, add one Memento monster, and then you can target a level two Memento in your graveyard, pop another uh, Memento card, and then swap them out, right? So it's really good in that regard as well. So from here, guys, what we can do is we can use Anguish to go ahead and add us our Memento Tatsunoko or Fushigoro or whatever you want to call it. This card says this, if you do not control any phase up monsters other than Memento monsters, special summon this card. During your main phase, pop one Memento monster, and then send monsters from your deck to the grave equal to the level of the destroyed monster so from here because we only control memento we can summon up fushigoro then we can use this effect to go ahead and pop itself so now we can send monsters that equal to level five so in theory we could send five level ones right but from here we will go ahead and we will dump the one um the mace we will dump the mythical sheep which is the new one and we will dump the goblin from here guys what we can do is we can go ahead and end up using anguish to pop itself to switch into the mace mace has the effect where um Blah, blah blah you can pop it and then you can add one memento card from your deck to your hand um so you can destroy again everything's like destroy one other but really you're going to destroy itself but from here we can go ahead and use mace pop mace to grab us our memento fusion memento fusion is really good it's a quick play it's like the classic um uh branded in red type of fusion card where you just quick play however if you have used a memento monster and it was destroyed by card effect you can shuffle materials from your graveyard and then during the main phase banish it and get another memento spell or trap card really really good and honestly this is one of the main reasons why memento gets a lot better because of this new card we're about to summon so from here we go ahead and we shuffle back three so we shuffle back fushigoro dark blade and we shuffle back our mace very important to keep both of these cards in the graveyard you guys will see why later on but make sure you guys again keep those so from here we go ahead and resolve to summon out our combined conqueror um i'm not saying anything else because nobody knows this basically this card says this um you can manage from graveyard and get one, one memento um spell trap card or add one memento whatever right from your deck to your hand cool um, it's the field spell, okay? Then the other effect is you cannot use the same effect in the same chain. If this card is huge summon, send three memento cards from your deck to the graveyard and then target an equal number of memento monsters you control, cards your opponent control, destroy them. And again, all the memento cards want to be destroyed, so it's very good in that regard. So on summon, it will go ahead and it will mill three. So we're going to go ahead and send one of itself. Very important to send that card in the grave. And then we can also send the trap card brain blast and we can send the Gaddick. And it's very important in this combo specifically. You guys will see why. So from here, we can use Gaddick. Gaddick says um, if a... if this card is sent to the grave by a mental monster's effect. You can special this card, right? Very, very good. Um, and then it says if it's normal special, summon, target one mental card in your graveyard and add it to hand. So Gaddick will trigger to go ahead and target our sheep to add the sheep to hand. Sheep says if a monster was destroyed um, by card effect during this turn, quick effect, you can special summon her out. So we go ahead and we will um, special summon sheep. But before we do that, we get the field spell, of course. Um, so this card basically says you can banish from graveyard, add one memento uh, field spell, basically is what it's called. And this card's really, really good. And um, this is the reason why you want to get the field spell up before you start popping shit. But from here, we go ahead and we summon out our sheep. Now we can use the sheep effect where it says if it's normal special summon, you fusion summon using it. Very, very good. And if it's destroyed by valor card effect, send one card from your next graveyard. From here, we go ahead and use sheep to fusion summon by using the sheep and the Gaddick into our twin thunder dragon or twin dragon whatever this card says this if this card's fusion summon destroy one mental monster in your hand or field and if you do add up to two mental monsters with different names if this fusion summon card is destroyed start from one level six or lower mental monster from your graveyard so on summon it's going to destroy a momentum monster in your hand or field you pop itself you go ahead and add two momentum monsters with different names we end we add the horn dragon and we add the mace then on a separate chain it'll be chain link one twin dragon chain link two field spell so field spell allows us to summon um <coughs> from here <laughs> if a monster you control is your valid card effect you can try one of those monsters that's on blah blah whatever and then this summons a level six or lower monster from your graveyard from here guys what we can do is we can go ahead and you chain link one chain link two chain link two or, or whatever summon out this and summon out the goblin because this can also summon from the graveyard so from here we summon the goblin and we summon out the sheep which is really good in that regard from here guys we go ahead and use fusion to banish itself to go ahead and pop the mythical sheep to go ahead and add us our other 
mythical fusion or memento fusion and now because the sheep was popped the sheep can go ahead and send a memento card which is going to be combined creation you're probably wondering like why this didn't send it it's because we do it this way from here guys what we can do is we can go ahead and proceed to summon our horn dragon because you have three or more memento monsters with different names in our graveyard and then we can get a free special summon and we can link these two monsters away into the new card top hat here the silhouette magician silhouette top hat vorpal soul whatever you guys want to call it um top hat is probably the best name for it though but top hat says this um if this card links someone set one continuous trap directly from your deck and then if a monster is pressed on from a spell trapper zone try one spell trap card your opponent controls and destroy it <coughs> very good in that regard but from here guys you guys will see we go ahead and set a very degenerate card it's going to be shadow core shadow core says special on this card infect monster and you can uh, substitute it for any one fusion material blah, 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 whatever this card sends a graveyard you can target one okay cool Basic, I mean, it'd be cool if we could reset stuff, right? But from here, guys, what we can do is we can go ahead and set the Shadal Core, but we're not done yet. We will set the Memento Fusion, and then we can go ahead and shuffle back five Memento names from our graveyard onto into the deck to summon our combined creation, which is really good, again, right? Very good. And it also has a pretty cool effect where if your opponent activates a quick effect or uh, a card or effect, press on one Memento Monster in your graveyard. So you want to keep Anguish because this can summon Anguish. Anguish can add a card. So you guys can see that we kind of have like a nice resource loop in that regard. Then during the end phase, we can target one Memento Spell Trap card and set it. We get the brain blast brain blast says this um while you control momentum blah blah your opponent must attack the guy with the highest attack and then it says when your opponent's monster activates effect you can target command creation make it lose a thousand attack and if you do negate that effect so it's basically like appaloosa um except it's like you have five negates in 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 a sense because like um whenever this card will drop below three thousand they can't attack it because they have to attack the um combined conquer and then combined conquer has the effect where it can like pop right and then we also have shock core but from here we will go ahead and set so now during our opponent's turn guys we have the combined creation um cranium burst we also have command creation that will reborn the anguish and then anguish will go ahead and trigger to go ahead and you guys will see we add us our sheep so now we have like extra play because sheep can summon itself out when a monster is destroyed um quick fight then we can use command creation to pop itself then we can use memento to go ahead and summon then we can use sheep to go ahead and fusion summon into this then we can go ahead and use twin dragon to go ahead and pop itself to go ahead and search two cards so now we get goblin and we get dark blade and then from here we can go ahead and use twin dragon to go ahead and reborn out our anguish and then we can go chain link one chain link two some should all core activate this fuse these two away <coughs> into a window and then we still have the hand trap effect so these cards have hand trap effects as well so goblin is quick effect target one monster your opponent controls and take it um your opponent uh, yeah no that's sorry this that's this one mace you can discard and target one face that monster and take control of it and then goblin says you can target or discard it and then momentum monsters you control cannot be targeted so that's just off one card combo guys which is which is ridiculous but now let's move on to the second combo all right guys because the first combo is so in depth i don't really think i'm gonna need to explain a lot of the other things when the lions deviate i will explain it from here guys we can go ahead and summon out our anguish use anguish to go ahead and get our fushigoro tatsunoko special out our tatsunoko use this effect pop itself and mill the three this time we send the goblin the mace and the mythical sheep for the most part we will always be sending this there's like a specific combo that it changes but i'll explain it later on but from here now you can use anguish pop herself tribute off into the mace use mace's effect pop itself to go ahead and get the momentum fusion now again this is the similar resource line that we go for always and then use the fusion but <coughs> shuffle back the um three summon out conquer use conquer effect to mill uh the three so we send the uh, fusion monster and we also send the combined creation and we send the gaddick from here because the monster was destroyed of course or because center gave it we summon gaddick gaddick will go ahead and add mythical sheep to our hand and then here we can banish to go ahead and grab the field spell from here guys we can go and activate field spell field spell go ahead and use to fusion summon this time we want to keep the gaddick on board very very important for here you guys will see why in a little bit from here we use twin dragon twin dragon effect pop itself get the mace and get the horned dragon from here guys we can go ahead and go chain like one chain like two this will summon out our sheep and summon out our goblin from here we can link the goblin and the gaddick member a dark fiend and a dark fiend and we can go into a hero of the mirage it's two monsters with the same type and attribute except tokens when a spell trap card or effect is activated send one fairy monster from your hand to the graveyard negate the activation if you destroy it <coughs> very very good um ideally if this card could send would be a lot better but so again that's where the line deviates very slightly now we can summon out the dragon use the two to go into top adder adder effect go ahead and set the shit all core and then from here guys we can go ahead and shuffle our monsters back to go ahead and proceed to get our combined creation onto uh, the board um yeah i ended up shuffling the wrong card but you want to keep getting great but shuffle this card out into here and then during the end phase we can go ahead and set and then from here we can go ahead and use mirage light to go ahead and discard to negate any like infinite impermanence things of that nature really want to hold it for as much as we we can really and then again uh, make sure you use combined creation to summon out like any of these cards because this card can get this card and things of that nature you feel me but um for the most part yeah and then we have the shadow core which is still a window at the end of the day which is basically after our opponent right 
so basically the name of the game is win the and protect it to the most like to the best of your ability right but that's for the second combo guys let's get into the third combo all right guys now we are getting into the third combo again very similar to the previous combos except this is if we open our tatsunoko dolphin whatever you want to call it um it reminds me of like black zebra or something but anyways guys if you guys are enjoying the video leave a like if you, you haven't seen these comments before leave a like if you like me leave a like if you think i'm sick leave a like if you like yourself leave a like if you don't want your yeah leave a like but anyways um we will start off with tatsunoko again because you control the monsters or all uh whatever whatever so we summon our tatsunoko use effect pop itself we will send the mythical sheep three we will send the gaddick two now that's very important and the reason for that is because mythical sheep and gaddick says if this card is sent to the graveyard you summon out gaddick and then gaddick can go ahead and on summon use effect to add back the mythical sheep summon the mythical sheep and now sheep confusion into our twin dragon pop itself get the horn dragon and get the dark blade one thing to note um is with uh the twin dragon <coughs> you always want to be able to grab the horn dragon and then the other card you're missing for the puzzle this one is we have a normal summon so now dark blade can get us everything else um it's very important but from here guys we can go ahead and go um use this to summon out our mythical sheep use the dark blade dark blade pop um to summon out the anguish again dark blade can pop anything very similar to anguish as well and then this will go ahead and go chain link one chain link two um that'll send our mace to the graveyard and then anguish will go ahead and add us our goblin from here guys we can go ahead and use anguish pop itself to summon out the mace and then use mace pop itself to get our memento fusion after memento fusion shuffle back v3 which is the mace the gaddick and the mythical sheep summon out the combined creation um use combined creation or conquer sorry combined creation the other guy use combined conquer to go ahead and send the three cards so we send brain blast the extra guy to get the field spell and we send big daddy from here guys what we can do is we can go ahead and banish the fusion monster get the abacus mathematician whatever you want to call it activate it and then from here we can go ahead and banish to pop a card um because this will pop now so we will go ahead and pop and now this will trigger out our mathematician whatever summon out the anguish summon out the horn dragon because again it's just a generic extender link to into our top hatter use top hatter set the shit all core set the memento fusion and now of course guys we can shuffle back the three or sorry the five bad boys summon out our combined creation during the end phase we can set the trap card now again we have the exact same thing um <coughs> I misclick you want to keep like one of the cards in gave her but um basically again we have the exact same thing we have shadow core we have the fusion spell we have cranium blast um monster also remember one thing right um while you control monster monster your opponent's monsters that attack must attack the mental monster with the highest attack um so one thing about that is like even if we have wind on board they have to attack these two no matter what and they have to kind of deal with it and we have monster negates and things of that nature so again that's it for the third combo again the exact same man board guys it's very consistent all bunker combos now let's get into the fourth and final combo all right guys now we are getting on to the fourth and final combo i originally was going to do three but i think goblin is like a pretty funny combo and like bro what's where's his face is it here here but whatever guys leave a like if you like the video but for here we will start off by using goblin during the main phase um basically has the effect where he says you can destroy one momentum once you control send two cards with different names from each other to the grave like that's a crazy effect again he is a one of but he's still really good but from here we use the effect pop himself to go ahead and send two we send the bone party and we send the gaddick again because gaddick was sent gaddick can summon himself out and then gaddick can add us any card so we will add the bone party i think that this combo is very important because you guys kind of really need to know what happens when um bone party kind of works and how it fits in the combo bone party's quick pack destroy one momentum monster from your hand or face up and then take one memento monster and add it to your hand or special summon it in defense position <coughs> During the main phase, you can banish this card from graveyard, target one mental monster, it attacks, inflict piercing, um, blah, blah, whatever, right? From here, we use this, get bone party, and then from here, we can go ahead and activate bone party, pop, to summon out our dark blade, and now again, um, our engine starts going, right? We have dark blade, dark blade into anguish, anguish effect gets sheep, then we can go ahead and use sheep, special herself out, use sheep to fusion summon into our twin dragon, twin dragon pop itself, get Tatsunoko and horn dragon. Like I said, we didn't go through uh, Tatsunoko, so we go into it, and we need horn dragon as the extender. If you're kind of like in a really awkward situation where like you had to poly or something, then of course you get like whatever. But from here, we can go ahead and use this. This will float, use Tatsunoko, summon itself out, best summon out the <coughs> horn dragon. And then from here, in my opinion, it's pretty cool, right? We can go ahead and pop this. And I think this guy's like a level seven or something. And he's trying her dragon. So we send seven. So we send this guy, this guy, and we send the one. Okay, so he's eight. So we send the dark blade, the anguish, and the mace. Really, we just want to get the mace engraver. From here, guys, we can go ahead and use this effect to go into the mace. Go into mace pop to get the fusion. And then activate the fusion to shuffle back our anguish, our dark blade. And we can shuffle back our twin dragon. From here, we can go into our combined conqueror. Conqueror will go ahead and send the fusion plus the three. Like, it'll always send these three, really. Um, and then from here, we can go ahead and banish. 
to go ahead and add the field spell activate the field spell here and then we can go ahead and banish to go ahead and add and pop a card and this will of course trigger out our mathematician go ahead and summon out the gaddick and then here we can go ahead and link summon into our top hatter hair hair of whatever and then from here we can go ahead and set the core and then we can go ahead and shuffle back five to go ahead and proceed to summon out our combined creation onto the field and then basically during the end phase we go ahead and get the trap card fusion spell gets set now i have combined creation summon out anguish anguish grab us our dark blade activate should all core activate fusion summon out go into window we still have the trap card we still have things of that nature like this is just crazy this deck is consistently popping out top hatter hair the silhouette awesomeness um and it also does like the negates it also does pops things of that nature guys so again these are like four combos i think that are very important just watch out for this deck like window gets really crazy so forbidden droplet is your best friend guys but again my name's hamza if you guys like the video please go and leave a like comment what you guys want to see next and subscribe my name's hamza like i always say keep on shining everyone in your dreams peace